Welcome everyone to our first podcast, Highway to Heaven. My name is George. My name is Caesar, And we're students at MCU and seminarians of Queen of Angels of Priestly Formation. Welcome to our first podcast. I'm excited. Are I'm you? excited as well. This is something we've been ho- planning for and then just having it here already. It's like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So we'll talk more about it, but we're Catholics. We'll start with prayer. In the name of Father, Father Son, Son Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Caesar. We thank you, God, for giving us a new day. Thank you for giving us life again. We thank you, God, for all the blessings that you continue to give us, especially allowing us to have created this podcast. We ask you that you bless the people that are hearing us, bless their families, keep them in good health. And while they're watching this podcast and the next few episodes that come, allow them to get nourished so that their faith could increase and that they're able to share the word of God with others. We ask this in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well said, Caesar. And yes, pray for each other. And prayer is so important. And this is a, a community uh, community of mcu and also for seminarians I mean, you guys pray for us we'll pray for you but also pray for our, all of our listeners who are watching or listening uh wherever you may be but i mean caesar this is the first podcast out of many what do you got to say to our listeners i just be open be open to receiving and, and there's going to be so many stuff coming so many different talks um you're going to learn from different saints um we're going to learn more about the Bible as we go through this and then just be open to receive to receiving Jesus because he all he loves us and he has a calling for every single one of us. Now, is this your first time doing a podcast? Have you done other? Have you listened to podcasts? This is I say no to both. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really I heard podcasts, but I just never really thought much about it. And but I feel like it's a good thing, especially because we could just take your time. They're not long. They're not too too short and it just brings out a perfect message like just the right amount of time and you're able to just listen when you're in your car when you're doing chores when you're in your bed you can just like those like breaks small breaks you're able to just grab and you know what let's first play and listen Absolutely. to the podcast mm-hmm. yeah i mean i've had experiences with podcasts i mean i don't know if i'm getting old i just like listening <laughs> to podcasts now um but one great one that i recommend it to you is follow mike schmitz the bible in a year study oh yeah i heard of it yeah so every day he's putting out podcasts very short 15 20 minutes podcast of um just scripture passages uh, you learn a lot definitely and every time i'm in the car boom follow mike schmitz i listen to it and, it, and it's great um but never would i imagine that i myself would do a podcast <laughs> this is, yeah me either i, I think, think that's where i get crazy. the inspiration <laughs> from i wanted to do a podcast um yeah, I think hopefully our, our watchers, our listeners can see what's going on and ha- see us have that conversation. Yeah, um, it's a journey that we're going to take together. So that's the, it's that's the beauty of it. Highway to heaven. Highway to heaven. And that's <laughs> what we're, we're called to be saints. We're called to go to heaven. So it's, it's uh, great that us, as we're going to grow together through it, but we're also going to be with the people that are watching us, that are hearing us, and uh, being able to guide them and us to learn as well. It's going to be great. Yeah, I mean... A little bit by myself. Uh, I mean, I grew up Catholic. I also served and and did all the Catholic stuff. Uh, and I was a church boy. <laughs> and in high school, I went to St. Genevieve. And in high school, they would call me uh, Father George. Father, Father George. George. And so they would call me. And then they, they would ask me <laughs> questions about the church. They would ask me, like, what does the church say, right? Uh, but great experiences. I mean, I went to Arlie APs. Um, I was well uh, involved in there. So it's a, it's been a journey. I, mm-hmm. I started my journey as a Catholic. And, and now I'm here with you as a seminarian. <laughs> Uh, Queen of Angels, and but never would I imagine that uh, we'll be doing a podcast uh, proclaiming and evangelizing to our MCU students. Yeah, this wasn't in the in the paperwork. This yeah, was, this <laughs> was, there was no. <laughs> you're going to be doing a podcast. I know. <laughs> uh, I mean, you, Caesar, what was your journey of, of faith? Well, I, just remember I started off at a very young age. I started serving when I was nine as an altar server, and then from there, I just started getting involved with youth ministry. By the time I was 11, I was helping out in retreats uh, mm. with, with the teens, doing plays, giving talks, and then just hosting like prayer nights, youth youth days, and going out and feed the feed the homeless, sing to the elderly. Oh. It was all like, it was, my ministry was basically really involved with the, with the youth. But I also went to, I, went, I didn't go to a Catholic, I went to a Catholic high school for a year, but then most of it was in, in a public mm. school. And I was very involved in band and ASB, uh, class council and other clubs and i think as you mentioned something about prayer was that there i was very busy and now that you come here it's exactly. like it's a good thing to like okay now i could devote myself to to that and it's just it's been good now i'm here and it's we're starting a podcast so know, this is <laughs> it's a great journey <laughs> i know and you mentioned you were really involved with the youth i was a youth minister myself 
um, for about a year. So after I graduated, I, I worked at Our Lady of Peace, my elementary school, and or in my, and my parish, and St. Genevieve, where I attended high school. And at Our Lady of Peace, I was the youth minister, and I was greatly involved with the youth ministry even beforehand. Um, but yeah, one of the greatest events I had was the retreat, the year two confirmation retreat. That's like, it was amazing. The retreats are always uh, amazing. Exactly, <laughs> retreats are always amazing. You, need, you just need to take that break. Yeah. But especially with the youth. I mean, we were up in the mountains, we were in the snow. Uh, so it was a great experience uh, with them. But they too started their journey. And I was happy to look back and say, wow, I did that journey for mm -hmm. them. I started that journey. Uh, this is what the podcast is all about, starting that journey for all these people who are listening, watching. Um, and we're first-time seminarians. This is our second semester at MCU, first-time college students. So we're learning. Yeah, definitely. As we they're still learning. have a lot to learn. <laughs> exactly. We still have a long way to go. Um, but yeah, um, in the end, our, our purpose, our goal is to share to people um, how to get to heaven, sharing them um, the word of God, sharing them the important stuff that the church says, um, and I quote one of our seminarians, and he says, uh, the Eucharist is a source of summit. And that's what we all say as Catholics. The Eucharist is a source of summit. And he says um, of our faith, you cannot reach the top of a mountain without a few steps. Right? We begin our journey with a few steps in the road, and we begin until we reach the end. Uh, and this also reminds me of the gospel. It was uh, two weekends ago. And Jesus tells his apostles, come, come and follow me. And it's just... The word come, it just has a big significance in just one word. Jesus is before you, and he's telling you, come, follow me. And, and our formator, Father Paulo, and our chaplain at MCU, if you, if you didn't know, <laughs> um, he, he told us that live, live the Bible, live the scripture, because some people don't read the, the scripture, don't read the Bible, and we're the walking Bible. We're to show and exemplify what the gospel says and what the Bible says. Um, but yeah, do you have anything else for our, our listeners and, and our, those who are watching? Just to let you know that we're here to not just pray, but also to guide, to walk together to this uh, highway to heaven that we're, we're seeking. That is our ultimate goal. And we're just going to go. And there's going to be a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff planned, a lot of um, talks, different people that are going to come give to you and saints. And so one of the ones included is Blessed Carlo Acutis. It's just a a teenager, a regular boy at such a young age who played video games. He liked to play soccer. He was into programming. And we'll learn about, I won't say too much, we'll learn about it next next podcast. But seeing how God could touch such a young person and he could do so much for the church, is, it's amazing. No, it's that, amazing. That's a great example. And hopefully he becomes a saint. Yes, on God willing. <laughs> yeah, he's a great example to all of us. But uh, we'll save it for the next podcast. We'll, we'll talk about him. Um, well, let's wrap things up. I just want to say thank you guys for watching our podcast or if you're listening wherever you are in your car or just on your bed, whatever, wherever you are, uh, just continue in this journey. And again, pray for us. We'll pray for you and pray for each other. Pray for those who are also listening to our podcast. Uh, we're joining together and hopefully we can have many more to go. Thank you guys. God we'll bless you. you.